Hey, it's Elizabeth Cast of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to go into Aldi and do a keto grocery call with my keto shopping list. Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Counts of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna go into Aldi and do a keto grocery haul, yay! If you love this video, make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and sign up for our free weekly Wednesday weight loss email. I have y'all, full disclosure, I have no idea what I'm gonna purchase, so let's go in and see what goodies I can find for the ketogenic diet. I love pumpkin seeds as a great keto snack. These are only one net carb for a fourth a cup or five carbs for a fourth a cup, depending on how you count. For the chicken broth section, I would strongly encourage you, and there are bone broth that has cane sugar in it, I would strongly encourage you to make your own at home. Just cook a whole chicken in your Instapot. It will take you no time flat, save you so much money, but more importantly, the creepy carbs that are in these bone broth, I skip them now and just make my own. Hello, Keto on a Budget. I love avocados, particularly only for 79 cents. I'm going to grab these as some great keto foods. I'm also going to go ahead and snag some of these pickles for electrolytes. I love having them with the ketogenic diet. So this is new at our Aldi is the almond flour. It's six bucks for this package. It's a little bit more expensive than getting it on Amazon, so I'm going to pass on it. But I was quite impressed that they have it here. Amazon, Aldi is on the ball. They are on the ball. I was looking to see if they had other baking things, keto baking things. I'm not seeing anything else, but let me keep looking. Question of the day is, do you love cheese as much as I do? Put in the comments. So many of y'all had asked about their cauliflower pizza. This does have, for a third of the pizza, 28 carbs. So I'm going to say pass on this. That's a lot of carbs for a small portion. I talked about this in my previous video, so always double check the back. I didn't on the last video and erroneously assumed that it was good. So make sure that you're checking on that and check all of your ingredients for creepy carbs. Their guacamole is amazing. I just would make sure there's no fruit in it, like pineapple would not be a good choice, but their plain guacamole is a good choice to get. I'm gonna go ahead and snag some of the organic salad mix. It's on special. I always look for the special stickers that they have. So I'm gonna grab a thing of this. Two cups of romaine lettuce or iceberg lettuce is only two carbs. Am I saying that right? It's only one net carb for two cups for this and it has more potassium than a banana swim in. So for great keto foods, their nut prices here are pretty good down at the bottom for baking. I would suggest those as a keto item for the ketogenic diet to get on your shopping list. We now buy our meat directly from a grass-fed farmer local to us, but I always do like to check out their food prices while I'm at Aldi. In addition, they are having chickens or whole organic chickens, which are easy keto dinners to make easy keto meals, and you can make a lot of different keto on a budget foods out of them, as well as the panino trays. I love those things. Love getting organic cauliflower as a side dish. Um, it's so good with my keto meals that I just will have raw and also some organic broccoli. They do have some cucumbers. Obviously, do the best you can afford. Organic is best, but do the best you can afford. There's my Duke's mayonnaise, which we'll talk about later. I did also want to snag some bacon, but we have since started buying from a local um, farmer at the, that I could directly source our bacon from now. Of course, organic is best, but I'm going to snag some more mozzarella cheese to make some keto pizzas with for a keto lunch, and also going to get some sour cream for my keto tacos, which is one of my favorite keto meals, and also some more ingredients for my Alfredo sauce that I have a Countess Alfredo that is amazing, high fat, moderate protein, low carb. I did need to get some more heavy cream for our coffee and for Alfredo sauce. Squeezies are my favorite. I love stocking up on them. I'm, they're so good. I highly recommend them. And they now have squeezy garlic that I did end up grabbing one of these tubes as well. I'm so pumped. I want this pink flamingo so badly. Look how cute it is. It's only $9. I'm going to get out of this section. You'll know this section is my hardship of things that I want, but want to stay on budget for. So we're going to keep rolling. My I love their 29 cents tomato cans because they're only four carbs for fourth a cup. However, I'm finding that my keto Alfredo sauce is so much healthier and doesn't have all the added sugars. And because I'm mom of the year, I ended up purchasing this and having this over the pinion nose with my little boy on the way home. It was a delicious keto meal. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's roll. My special helper. Are you gonna help me? Mm -hmm. I got a very good helper on the end of my cart. 
Let's go home and we'll show all of our friends our purchases. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We are going to go home now. I'll show you everything I got. We may or may not be having these on the way home. I have not decided, but I think it's a pretty good lock that I'm going to have some of these on the ride home. As I put things away, your question of the day is what is your favorite Aldi food? What do you love to get for your Aldi keto grocery shopping haul for ketogenic diet weight loss? Put in the comments below. Put it down. Go put it down. Hey guys, I'm back from my Aldi keto grocery shopping haul. If you want my keto, my Aldi keto shopping list, it will be down in the description link below of things that I love to get. To be told, you may see a little editing error. This is a few days later after we've eaten some of the food that I got from Aldi. I just didn't have time when I came home and I didn't want a screaming little kid in the background of the video. So anyway, here's all the stuff that I got. The first thing I'm super stoked about was this squeezable garlic. I have been looking for this at Aldi for months and I'm not exaggerating. I may go back and buy a second one um, because it is the squeezy garlic. Um, it's one teaspoon is one carb and it has xanthan gum in it. Just FYI, it's one of the ingredients. So I got this. I, I like having squeezable garlic for my recipes. There's no sugar added, so it's in like Flynn. Next, I got some heavy cream. Of course, we use these for our Alfredo, my Alfredo recipe with the cream cheese. But look, guys. <laughs> we used it for our Alfredo, which I have an awesome Countess Alfredo recipe, which is really good at using these two things and with Kerrygold butter. I got some avocados. We've since eaten one of them. <laughs> we also got some bacon in here. I got two packs of the bacon. We are switching over to a local meat CSA. It's like a monthly meat pickup. So check um, out my upcoming video on that. If you live in Northern Virginia, you can get the monthly meat pickup too. You have to go pick it up. They don't deliver it. But it's grass-fed, organic, humanely raised, like awesome. Like, I don't know where these pigs came from. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if, I'm assuming it's, I'm going to go with the assumption it's humanely raised, but I know the new sources I'm going to be getting, which I will be getting my pickup later today. So anyways, but we needed to have something in the interim. Like, we needed to have, as we're swinging from one vine, we needed to have something else in our house to eat. Um, I have got my Dukes, more Dukes mayonnaise. We've been using Dukes a lot because of coleslaw this barbecue season. We have been loving the keto ginger coleslaw recipe, which is so stinking good. And I use Dukes mayonnaise. You can use Primal or Chosen as the cleanest keto ingredients or make your own. This does is made out of soybean oil, which is inflammatory, but it does not have sugar. And you can see we used a substantial amount for our recipes. I was doing a lot of chicken, um, chicken keto pizza crust made out of chicken, but I needed more mozzarella for that. So I got this. Ideally, shredding our own is best, but sometimes I just have to get the grabby bag, which does have inflammatory properties in it. I know that sometimes for me, it can stall my weight loss if I have way too much of this type of cheese because of the blockers in them. I got um, an organic uh, cauliflower, which I'm going to cut up today. To, if we don't cut these up, we don't eat them. So I need to go cut it up and make sure we have this before it goes bad. My little boy likes dip dips. <laughs> he likes dipping vegetables into ranch dressing. And so it's a good way for him to have like a little um, side for his lunches. On the way home, we did eat, we did eat part of our panino tray and it was really freaking good. <laughs> It was really, really good. I, um, mom, when though, I used the squeezable guacamole that you saw in the video. I got some squeezable guacamole. It was so stinking good. I squeezed it on top of the panino rolls. It was like the lazy woman keto, but it was so good. It was so, I highly recommend it. So get a panino roll, put some squeezy guacamole on it. It was so good. If I can show you guys, let me go see if I have it. I might not have it. I ate the one that we got from Aldi, which was somewhat expensive from Aldi. They had for the grocery, for my keto grocery haul, two packs that were like this big of guacamole. You could cut, and I have scissors in my car, so I could cut it to make like a piping bag out of the guacamole. And that's what made it really simple to make like a line of guacamole across here. I for sure will do that when we're like, camping or like at the beach, like easy things of where you just need something quick to grab, grabbing this and grabbing the guacamole. That was my win for the week. I felt like such a bad mom eating our lunch in the car, but also in the same breath, it was such a healthful, it was a healthful lunch and it was really low in carb and high in fat, which made me happy. And the other thing, so I want to show that this was guacamole I got from Whole Foods. So you would have to like, say you had it like in a container like this, you couldn't just squeeze it. You'd, ha you'd have to scoop it. I know that's a little bit lazy. You'd have to scoop it. But so this was all of my Aldi grocery haul. I'm super stoked. It wasn't a full stock up like I normally do, but we just needed some like sour cream. 
a lot of sour cream. And I'm gonna make some keto tacos later this week. So we had to have the keto sour cream. And um, before I ate the guacamole, we had to have guacamole too. So, <laughs> which I've been doing, y'all have heard me talk about, let me just sit right here. Um, talk about avocados, prices have gone up. I don't know why. I, I'm not quite sure what the reasoning is. But I do know from the economic standpoint, if there's high supply and low demand, and prices go up from an economist's daughter. So um, husband just told me I said that wrong. Reverse that. Low supply, high demand. There you go. That's the economist's daughter I'm talking about. Okay, back to our video. The avocados are getting more expensive. So when I find them for like 10 cents, 20 cents, which I've done other cheap keto videos on, um, I stock up and I freeze them. You can freeze them, which I'll show in another video. So, so this was my keto shopping list is down in the description link below make sure you get that too if you want my all-day shopping list if you love this video make sure you sign up for my free weekly Wednesday weight loss email for your free keto diet meal plan make sure you click like and click subscribe on this video to see all things keto all things uh, intermittent fasting bye guys make it a powerful day